Yeah, um, now the last days, one, two, three, four, five players came uh, a little bit late from outside, joining the camp a little bit earlier. Um, I think the boys are doing well. Um, there are a lot of uh, new, new players in the squad. Um, they need the information the other players from the last uh, camp already had. So it's uh, somehow two steps forward, one step back. Um, but I think uh, we are on a good way. Apart from those new ones, uh, mm -hmm. if we look at uh, those one who have participated in the last uh, training, I mean, uh, when we were uh, uh, participating in the World Cup qualification, mm -hmm. do they have the skills that you, you, you managed to give them before? They still have the, the capacity? Okay, so... Uh, the new players, uh, before my last camp, let's do a start like that, uh, I had nearly no chance to see the players uh, in the games or in the matches of their clubs. So it was more or less uh, on discussion with the, the technical director who was responsible before uh, the last match there and uh, also with my assistant coaches and I could see one match before so um, now I had uh, seen a lot of matches and I have talked to most of the coaches of the players so uh, it's now because of what I have seen in uh, on the field and also the recommendations of the club coaches that uh, I have invited these new players. But coach, have two friendly games uh, against Botswana and Madagascar. Mm. Uh, is it you who choose the other team or federation? If it is you, why? <laughs> so f first, it's it's always me. Huh? It's always me who is choosing. Um, so I knew the players from uh, the last camp. Sure, that's why some players of the last or most of the players of the last camp are with me again, some no, because I have seen also what they have doing uh, during this time now uh, in the clubs. And uh, as I said, some players I have seen, that's why they are in, or we have seen with my assistant coaches, or mainly, and uh, also by advice of the clubs. And um, sometimes it's a difficult situation for me, because in the clubs, because of this rule of five foreign players allowed to play, where I'm not happy about it, uh, a lot of, or some of these players also get only short time to play. Even, uh, let's just give an example, Gilbert, uh, who scored uh, an important goal against South Africa, uh, is very often not in the starting 11. Okay, this is the decision of uh, the club coach, but it makes it uh, difficult for me as a national coach. Um, so I saw some new players, when they came in, uh, they were showing some interesting abilities. Uh, so now uh, I see them in the training and they have to prove now uh, the situation in the training session and okay now we I have to cut again um, after this week because I don't go with uh, this big number to Madagascar so I only go with 22 uh, players plus three goalkeepers and uh, okay I think or I'm quite sure there are some new players uh, joining the team to Madagascar uh, but for sure not all new players that came in. Coach, you selected many players and uh, as you told us, you are going to go in Madagascar with the 22 players. Uh, mm. Many people may ask why? Why of this whole large number of players? Is it that you are not sure of uh, those players? You are going to test them mm. or with the trainings? Why did you call all those, all those players? You see, uh, all these camps for me are in one way are camps for preparing the team. In the other way, it's also scouting. 
Uh, scouting means, okay, I see players somehow here on the, in the match. I even said they don't even play maybe a lot. Uh, so I, I also want to see them with me in the training. And uh, how I understand training is uh, that I have a certain idea how I want the team to play. How I want a certain player to play his position in this team. So uh, maybe it is not fitting directly in this plan of a club coach, but it is fitting in my plan. Now I have to see how quick can these players adjust to the idea I want to have them play in, in, in the team. And uh, okay, now some, as always, as in the school, uh, some players are picking things up quicker, some players take a longer time. The problem for a national coach is you don't have much time. So that's why last camp some players had to leave the camp because uh, they took too long until they understand what I really wanted. Uh, and uh, this might happen again uh, after this week. Coach, last time when, when oh, we give him first. <coughs> Coach, uh, if we, we analyze our, our team, yeah. we always claim the attacking, uh, the, 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 in, uh, the attacking problem. Mm -hmm. And your previous colleague has given an opportunity to go in Europe and discuss with uh, different players even he discussed with uh, mm. uh, an Ivorian player mm. who they considered as a striker, but he, he was older and he, he didn't <laughs> play any role in Amavu. Yeah. Why did he, why did didn't you ask that opportunity uh, to such other players, especially in attack? Okay. So, first, we we did a lot of scouting. Uh, and uh, you may have heard also by uh, help of su or support of some, uh, some persons, uh, a lot of these players uh, that came up and the names came up, we were checking. And uh, uh, unfortunately, even that is his thought that they have Rwandan roots, they don't have. And uh, we were also discussing this situation with uh, our board and also with the Ministry of Sport because somehow uh, if you are getting a new player in he needs a passport from Rwanda. Uh, so uh, the decision for the moment what I think is a good decision because a national team is not a club team. Uh, so a player who is playing for your national team or for our national team uh, uh, should somehow has some Rwandan roots. Uh, uh, in a club it is different, uh, a, national, a national team is national team. And uh, as I said, some of these players or these names we checked, they don't have these roots. Um, so that's why it didn't work. So other players, it is, uh, there have been a lot of effort. Uh, I have also to say, maybe too late. These names have been given out earlier. Um, and some feedback was not interested. Uh, some even we didn't get the information how to get in touch with them. Uh, so I think this is somehow a very bad situation because there was a lot of time to get contact to other players. So in that way we are lucky in one way that we have not to play an FCON qualifier this time. This was for a very long time in the air. Huh? So it's also uh, somehow I have to blame uh, CAF. They shouldn't drink so much coffee. They better should do decisions early so that you don't bring your associations in, in bad situations. So we really got this information uh, quite late. And uh, so this also is then a problem uh, of planning. If time is very short, that you know you have 
you have now friendlies, you don't have uh, international game in a way that is, it is a qualification game. And uh, yeah, um, I think things are still not working perfectly, uh, but we are working on it to make it better. Uh, unfortunately, uh, now it is like it is. I would have liked to see some other or more players from abroad, but for example, there is a player who is playing in, in Swiss. I have been in contact personally, who is, uh, had a heavy uh, knee injury. Uh, he texted me yesterday evening that he has passed the test to start again uh, playing or training on the field. So these are also circumstances that uh, you don't have uh, in your hands. Uh, but for sure, this is now something that uh, we can focus uh, for the qualification, next FIFA qualification window. For you, as a coach, yeah. is it necessary to use it, the players who have uh, gone and roots only, or other players from abroad who have interest in playing from a movie can also be used? Um, you see, it's a, it's a decision, it's a decision of uh, the board and the sports ministry at the moment. So, and I, I cannot tell them what they have to decide because they are people of your country. If they say, we first want to try to have uh, players with the Rwandan roots, I would say this is not a, the wrong decision. Uh, uh, if the situation would be different, um, then you could also look for players who have no Rwandan roots, um, but then maybe it's also coming back to uh, other situations. Why yes or why not? Uh, this question I can't, I can't really answer you. Because last time uh, when you had a press conference, you talked about the number 10 I think uh, I had a meeting uh, or we had a meeting some some weeks ago and this was also a topic uh, and uh, I invited him because I saw his quality huh? and for sure um, this time there was an opportunity to, to give him a chance to show up and uh, what I really have to admire is that he is uh, from his personality doing very well. So I had uh, uh, a talk to talk with him and uh, I also explained him uh, his role in this squad because he's a very experienced player He's a very accepted player um, and uh, so a lot of younger players in this team will look up to him and uh, I told him somehow he has it in his hand how the mood in the team will be. If he is showing bad mood then also some players might think oh uh, maybe. Uh, but he was really doing well and uh, okay, we also had the situation that I told you one problem for me is that he's playing uh, from the field uh, nearly all attacking positions uh, in one match. Uh, uh, from uh, left winger to right winger to center striker to midfield player. Uh, and I also explained him that it is difficult uh, in a national team because uh, in a club, the other players have more time to adapt to the situation. In a national team, uh, it's difficult because they are coming from a lot of different clubs. Uh, and now if someone is moving to the position he is normally playing, he, he might not know what to do as it is in the club. And he also was really focusing on this idea and doing his job. Now, uh, so in one way, I'm, I'm happy how he is doing. Uh, in, in the other way, okay, there, there are also other situations now I have to have in my mind. Uh, this is also a team where I said also to my players, it is now uh, a chance uh, 
for and the preparation for the FIFA qualification window, but it is also in the view of uh, Chan, what probably should come up in August, as I somehow knew. It's also something CAF uh, is giving a lot of time for national uh, um, associations to not knowing what is going on. Uh, what is it is making difficult. But okay, so there are different topics now we have to think about. And uh, the next FIFA window is is a FIFA window for for World Cup qualification. Uh, what we have mainly to focus. This was also a reason why we said we are not playing in uh, in Rwanda because our next two matches are outside. Uh, that's why we also thought uh, we have to move outside to see how the players are doing, uh, 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 not on their home soil. Yeah. I know. No, I had no discussion with him. Uh, I had a discussion with in my team and uh, by seeing all the different different situations, uh, his brother is also playing more or less on on the same position, isn't he? Yes. So uh, then you have a young, talented guy coming from Belgium, Hakim. Huh? Then you have a very good guy with Kevin, who even played in South Africa and showed a very good match, and who has the advantage that he is understanding very well what I am telling him. So uh, there were some reasons I noticed also from our last meeting, um, but by waiting, waiting the different positions, I came to the solution, and it's again, it's my decision, I came to the solution, uh, that it for the moment doesn't make sense and it is not helpful. It would, would maybe create even between the brothers a problem. Huh? So, yes. Again. Who is the second one? Claude. Ah, Claude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, mm. yeah. Mm. You see, uh, we have with Emmanuel a very strong or a, a, a player who showed a very strong uh, matches uh, against uh, Zimbabwe and South Africa. So for the moment, this is guy number one on the left, re, uh, left back. Uh, uh, I knew, or I know, Claude also from our last situations, where I, I saw some positive things, but I also saw some negative things. Uh, so. Uh, this was a chance now to see both players on the pitch at the same time and uh, to get an idea, okay, what are, th are the other options? Uh, and we were looking really uh, also on the other position, on the right back, where we have Samuel as a very young uh, new player in uh, uh, for, for other options. Let's just say, Fetina, something is happening. Huh? You need, you need uh, uh, adequate um, replacement. Huh? And um, that's why maybe there are more than one player uh, invited for one position to see them on the field and how they are doing. Coach, there is a goalkeeper in Saudi Arabia who is called Kwizir uh, Awarifiye. Yeah. And he was number one for Amavubi. Yeah. Uh, nowadays, he doesn't get a call up in the national team. Yeah. Uh, do you follow him, or what is the problem with the, that book? First, you first you have to see that even you are national coach and you might have some time. Huh? 
you cannot follow the whole world. Uh, so, uh, in, in, in some uh, positions, when you are happy, uh, why you are running around and looking for more options? Uh, I think, okay, uh, I'm 120% happy with Fiacre. Uh, so, then uh, we have the new guy from last camp, uh, uh, Maxime from, from Belgium, uh, um, what, who, who showed a very good performance. And then I always say, the next one is someone who should come out of your country or should play out of, in your country. Uh, now, um, we have two uh, guys playing in, in your league um, as, a, as a third option. Uh, and as I said, it's also always development for these players that are coming in this camp. Uh, um, now, why should I put out one of these guys uh, and get another one in who for sure will not be number one? And then I, I create a fight for position number two. Um, and I only see him maybe on, on television. So it's, uh, it's just a, a, a matter of, again, thinking, does it make sense to do all these or, or create problems maybe in the team? Or is this a position we can be happy and keep things like they are? We have another, a, a lot of other positions where we, are, we have to fight for, and uh, I think goalkeeper position is a position that is uh, Rwanda has a, a very good situation at the moment. Thank you.